Hey everyone, I'm Lacey No. I'm a registered dietitian and the owner of Mindful Vending, which is a dietitian owned and operating healthy vending company. And I'm the author of two books, Mindfulness and Faith and Freezer Meals and The Nourishing Meal Builder. One of the goals of every aspect of the business, whether it's through vending, through the books, or the articles on the blog, is to provide foods that promote wellness, boost mood, support immune system, promote cognitive function, focus and attention, and reduce the risk of things like chronic diseases and autoimmune diseases. I was motivated to do this book and make this list by many things, but two of those things are my son's illness and my own symptoms. So my son developed something called bronchiectasis and it's basically um, damaged lungs. And he developed bronchiectasis because he had pneumonia. He was in the hospital for five days for pneumonia. And he developed pneumonia, developed pneumonia from having the common cold. He actually had two common cold viruses when he was in the hospital, they tested him and they found that he had these two common cold viruses, that's all it was, and that caused his pneumonia. So he battled the bronchiectasis for about two years and then eventually they decided um, we needed to remove one of the lobes of his lungs and this is so that he wouldn't have bronchiectasis anymore. We're supposed to kind of cure him of the bronchiectasis and it's so far it seems to. But unfortunately, a A month after surgery, he developed something that seems to be unrelated called HSP. No! That's him, he's so happy now. <laughs> Which is when your blood vessels leak. So this whole experience with my son has impacted me in two very big ways. One, because the pneumonia and bronchiectasis started with a common cold, I'm now determined to fight as best I can to fight off illnesses through hygiene and nutrition. Because of this experience, I also know what it's like to live with someone that you love that has an ongoing illness or like a chronic disease. When they have a chronic disease, they can't, a lot of times they can't do the things they, they love. So I don't want, if we can help it, I want to reduce the risk of getting any chronic diseases because I now see firsthand what it's like. So I wanted to put together, put together a list of nutrients and foods that greatly reduce the risk of chronic disease. My own health also inspired me to write the book and start Mindful Vending. As you can imagine, I was a wreck when my son was sick. But what kind of surprised me is the year after he got better, I was still sad. I felt like the three years that he was sick, he got pneumonia in kindergarten and second grade we were dealing with HSP. So the, those three years, I felt like they had been taken from us. Suddenly both my kids were older and we spent all this time dealing with illness. Um, and along with, the, with being sad, my seasonal allergies started really flaring up. I get these seasonal allergies like clockwork every fall and every spring and they're bad this time they were bad bad i mean like extremely bad i developed so much mucus and this is this is every year i would develop so much mucus that for a little while i would have to just lay in my bed i couldn't do anything i would lay in my bed and throw up every few minutes throw up mucus and um and food I mean, it was every few minutes. I couldn't go to work, I couldn't work out. It was awful. Um, and it happened every single year. And this time it was just not going away. 
So I went to a doctor and he gave me some steroids and it went away. But then as soon as the steroid treatment was over, it came back and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spend all my fall feeling like this. I've got to figure out something to do. It was then that I decided to practice what I preach. I decided to focus on the foods that based on evidence might help with my mood, help with my seasonal allergies, my mucus drainage, and even my asthma. And although I'm all for everything in moderation, I decided that for the time being, I should omit the foods that may not be good for my mood, my mucus, my seasonal allergies, and my asthma. So after I became very intentional about my family's diet, I was blown away by the changes. And you know, as a dietitian, I knew the science. I knew that science said that these foods help with this and this, but knowing the science and experiencing, experiencing it, it's two different things. So I wrote a list of the changes that I saw because um, I didn't want to forget anything. First of all, that you know the mood I was feeling so sad that went away. It was unbelievable. My mood lifted. Um, my asthma and then also my son's asthma greatly improved. I mean, greatly improved. Um, and my energy increased. And I know we hear people say that all oh, this helped with my energy, but it's really hard to describe what I mean by that. I mean, I was able to just just have the energy to really live life and get so much done and be in a good mood and just go from morning to night. It was unbelievable. What a change in my energy. And the next thing I want to talk about is just un unprecedented. You know that mucus that I get every single year like clockwork without fail. I mean, it have, I've been getting this every fall, every spring, since I was a child. For the first time, I didn't get it. How does that happen? I mean, you know food can make a difference, but I never really connected the dots that my seasonal allergies that I get every single fall and every single spring where I'm throwing up mucus would go away if I changed my food. Went away. I mean... That's insane, right? And then other unintended things happen. I have acne. I have had acne since I was in middle school. I, um, I've had to go to a dermatologist from middle school up into adult. It was crazy. I was an adult and I'm sitting here saying, telling my dermatologist, I'm getting wrinkles and pimples at the same time. What is that? Um, and I knew, I knew that foods were supposed to help with acne, but I just didn't really know. I don't know. Like, when I made these changes, my acne went away. Like, how does that, I mean, really? I made these changes and my acne went away, regardless of what I was doing as far as creams or anything. It just went away, just with what I'm eating. And then also, my son has some anxiety, and I don't know if that's partly from all the stuff he went through. He went through all these illnesses. So like going to school for the first day, he would gag because he was nervous um, and anxious. His anxiety has improved and his behavior has improved. It, I mean, I just can't believe it. And we get sick less often. He caught everything. He had anything that was going through the school, he got it. He would have a stomach virus. I mean, he just stayed sick. He had a stomach virus. He would get better for like a week. Then he would get some kind of um, strep throat. He would be better. He got hand, foot, and mouth disease. It was like he stayed sick. Now, we changed some things in our diet and we get sick way less often. We still get sick sometimes, but it's not like that. I mean, it's unbelievable. And, and when we do get sick, it's, it doesn't last as long. And you know what's surprising is when we do start kind of, we stop eating these foods that are helpful, that are in the book that are helpful, and we start kind of eating all these other foods that aren't, aren't as helpful, we eat a, you know, a lot of them, we start noticing these, all these things coming back. Like the acne and the moods and the 
anxiety and the behavior and the mucus. I mean, the lack of sleep. It's, I still cannot believe what a difference it made. It's just, and I'm a dietitian. I knew this stuff is in the research, but like when you actually implement it, it's like, whoa, it really does make that drastic of a change. It's so I put together this book. Because if these changes and these foods can do this for me, and according to research, for many people, help many people, then what can it do for you? And that's why I wrote the book. Oh, I've cried some through this video, but I promise they're not sad tears. They are tears of joy and of hope and tears of awe, like still blown away awe.